Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're showing how to make a platformer game in Scratch. So, what I want to do is download Scratch. So, I'm just go to my web browser. Usually, you would use Scratch on the web, but you could also download Scratch. You know, in case you don't have internet or something. Android Scratch. Three download. I'm gonna click on the first one. So, so, so if you're on Windows, then just press direct download and run it. If you're on Mac OS, just um, do the same thing. And if you're on Chrome, get it from the Play Store. If you're on Android, get it from the Play Store. But if you're on Linux, you have to go to the uh, distributions package manager and then I'm gonna search for like scratch. So it's here. Then the install button should be here. So that's how to install scratch. So I'm just gonna open scratch. I'm going to call it platformer. So this sprite one, we're going to rename it to level. So it's going to be our level. I mean just is that how it looks? I want to say one flat clicked. Go to X zero, Y zero. So I want to create a new sprite. I'm going to name it to player. So I'm just going to I'm gonna make it a circle for now. I'm gonna change it later, but it's just going to be a circle for now. So I'm gonna say one flat clicked forever. I'm also going to put this in here. So I'm gonna say change y by negative one. And just that. He wanted to accelerate instead of move at the same speed. So for that, we want to create a new variable called sy. Okay, the sy variable is going to be for this part only. So I'm going to say change SY by 1 and change Y by SY. So I'm going to change SY by negative 1. So and then I'm going to say set SY to 0. And now that's now the circle falls down. I'm going to make a new block, a custom block called touch ground I also want to see when was that screen refresh so that's going to do its script immediately I'm going to say touch ground I'm going to say if touching level then so I'm just going to say stop all not stops if it touches the level so I said that 
going to say set as y to 0. So I'm going to just move this dot all. Now you can see that it keeps on moving down. It keeps on moving down. Uh, so I'm going to stop that. I'm going to say, so we have to put this touch ground in the middle. That was going to stop, but it's so I'm going to say repeat until I'm just repeat until not. So I'm going to say repeat until not touching level to see change y by one so now it does that so I want to add movement and to say if the left arrow key is pressed and they want to duplicate it and also if the right arrow key is pressed so want to say change change x by negative 5 and here I'm going to say change x by 5 and if we press the left and right keys we're going to do that I'm also going to say if the up arrow key is pressed, I want to set the speed y variable. Set to ten. Fourteen. I'm going to the up arrow key. If we hold the up arrow key, it's going to flop. But we're going to fix that later. Now we have this, but if we go in here, I'm just going to do like that. I'm also just going to go up instead of stopping. So to fix that. here I want to put in an if else statement let us see so I want to put it in a separate forever loop so it's going to act as a separate separate process so you say if touching level I'm gonna put this in the else. And here I'm going to say repeat until not touching level. Change x by one. To start, but every time we touch the level, every time we touch the level, we'll be able to move left unless we jump. So, I'm going to put this in the custom block. I'm going to name it 
left and right. I'm gonna say when it's up screen refresh. I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to just left and right over here. So, I'm just remove this touch ground and select and right blocks. I'm going to make a new block it's called move. It's going to have this, this input steps. I want to turn on the upgrade refresh. So here, I'm going to say move. of SY, so it means the positive value of SY. So I'm just remove D. So I'm thinking of a variable called last P. So for this part only and set that last P to Y position. So, I have to say. Change Y. Y. That's Y divided by steps. So let's think about why divided by steps. I want to say if if touching level That's why to last to the last P variable. So, and here I'm going to say let's set this y to zero. And it just keeps on moving down. So I want to remove this change y by sy. Who no. does that? No, I don't need these anymore. So in here, let me just put this. So, right now, so it moves up really slowly. So, 
The reason why it's so slow is because here, just have to set it to change it by a swap. It was the normal speed. So, next thing I'm going to fix is the left and right movement. We can leave a variable called SX for this part only. And here I'm going to say change SX by, let's say, 2. I'm going to change SX by 1.5. And here I'm going to say change SX by negative 1.5. To say change x by sx this is this negative four point five this is the one point five you can move left and right It's a bit too, no, it's, like, it's too much. So, I'm going to say set SX to SX multiplied by 0 0.9. Don't move like that. So, I need to get the X collision working. So, I'm going to duplicate this and replace Y position with X position. You can only put this one for this one. And here I'm going to say change X. Y S X. Here I want to say set X to last P and set X S X to zero. So now I'm going to just remove this change X Y S X. Right. So, here. So, if you want the question to work better, you can say abs of SY plus abs of SX. So now we have a working platformer engine. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So, bye.